today we are talking about how to get the best locomotion and movement out of your Rococo motion capture. First, we're gonna talk about how locomotion works in Rococo Studio. And then we're gonna go over a couple tricks that I've picked up along the way that just help me to get the best when I'm trying to move around, you know, running around my office. Hopefully these will be helpful tips. Let's jump right into it. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is what to wear or not wear on your feet. So this is mainly anecdotal. This has just been my experience, but I used to wear socks when I recorded motion capture. And what I've found over the years is that the very act of wearing socks is very different from how we normally interact with the world in our day to day. Usually out in the world, you're wearing shoes and you move differently because of that. However, I don't wanna wear shoes all the time. So what I found is just not wearing socks and going barefoot gives me the best kind of natural movement to my gait. So that's what I recommend doing now. Now, if you don't wanna be barefoot, totally understandable, you can just throw on some shoes. You can just put the straps right over the shoes and that will probably be the most natural way of walking around. And finally, of course, you can wear socks. I wore socks for years. You still get great motion capture, but you just wanna know going in that you do move differently when you're wearing socks. And so you might need to do a little bit of extra cleanup on the foot contacts and the weight shifting in Rococo Studio. Okay, so now let's jump into Rococo Studio and take a look at how this foot contact system works. If I play back this little clip that I recorded here, you can see that when my feet come off the ground, these little circles down here at the bottom are empty. So what these represent is my foot's contact with the ground, but more importantly, how my weight is shifted. And if we look here, you can see that there were some artifacts during recording for this jump. And this is very common in Rococo Studio. It is a key part of getting the best out of your Rococo motion capture to go through and do this cleanup. And it just takes about 30 seconds to go, hey, oop, this foot was actually off the ground. So let's remove that one. Now I jump. My feet land. Let's make sure these look good. And we're back up. So let's remove these two. And I'm just right clicking to remove them. And there we go, we have a good jump. So this foot contact or weight shifting cleanup is an essential part of getting good motion capture from your Rococo system. Now, if we play the clip back, you can see that everything looks great. So that is how you clean up foot contacts, and I cannot stress this enough. That is an essential part of Rococo. You take that 30 to 60 seconds just to make sure that Rococo Studio has properly understood your movements. And when you do that, you get a night and day difference in the motion capture. So it's a really essential part. Okay, so you understand how the system works, but now let's look at a few of the nuances of that system. So of course, we do foot contacts, right? And that is because we want to track your feet so we can tell how you're moving in space. Because the sensors in your suit, they just know how they're rotating. They don't actually know where they are. So we need to know how your footsteps are moving in order to calculate where you are in the room. However, it's not really your foot's contact with the ground that's determining your movement, it's more your balance and how you're shifting your weight. So a good way to think of those foot contacts is not really when your foot is in contact with the ground, but more when your foot is bearing the weight of your body. And I wanna look at another example to really make this clear. Okay, let's play this through. And you can see in this clip, what I'm doing is essentially dragging or sliding my back foot instead of releasing it off the ground immediately. So I'm obviously moving, in the room, we can see that if you look at me, but for Rococo Studio, it's getting very wonky results because it thinks whenever your foot is in contact with the ground, your foot is not moving. So when we're looking at a clip like this, we're not really looking at foot contact, instead we're looking at weight shift. So let's go through and clean this up quickly and we'll get a much better result. First thing we'll do, is this left foot is coming off the ground, right? It's hitting the ground. And as soon as it's hitting the ground, my foot is dragging, but the weight ha and has come off of my foot. This leg is no longer bearing weight. Now it's my left leg that's bearing the weight. So I'm going to say, hey, this foot is not bearing weight anymore. Blue right foot is off the ground even though it's technically sliding on the ground. And you can see here, we still get this movement along the ground, but we're no longer impeding the way our body is moving. And same thing here, right? Our right foot comes down, hits the ground, and our left foot is sliding, but the weight has already shifted to our right foot. So 
I'm going to take this left keyframe, pull it back, and when we look at it again, it looks great. So let's quickly go through and do this for the rest of these. There we go, that took less than 30 seconds to do, and now when we play things back side by side, you can see that we have accurate motion capture. So hopefully that example makes it really clear the difference between your foot being in contact with the ground versus your foot bearing weight. And remember, you only want those keyframes to be active when that foot is bearing weight, not if it's just dragging along the ground. So my final tip relates to how you edit walking and running motion capture. Motion capture where your feet are going up and down and you're doing that weight shifting a lot between the different feet. And you can kind of see what I was doing in the last example, but let's go into a new example so I can show you more clearly. So this looks pretty good right off the bat. However, if we look at the foot contacts themselves, you can tell that maybe these aren't perfect. And that's because what I found is that when we transfer our weight between our feet, it is near instantaneous. Usually what happens is as soon as this foot, the left foot comes down and hits the ground, all of my body's weight is being pushed onto that foot. Disclaimer, I'm not a scientist. None of this is scientific. This is just based on my personal experience. But that being said, what I've noticed is that as soon as a foot comes down, the weight gets transferred onto it. And that means that we can take these little tails and we can stack this transfer. So anytime there is a transfer of weight between feet, as soon as that foot comes down, the weight should just transfer. So I go through and I basically get rid of any little tail that I see. So here, for example, do there's a little tail right here. I'm just gonna make it so that the weight instantly transfers. You just get a really clean result and there's no kind of stickiness for the feet. And I'll just go through and the great thing is if you want to just do this right off the bat, you can kind of just eyeball it because you know right here, oh, there's a little tail, so I can just get rid of that one. And it's pretty, pretty easy to do. So it's subtle, but I think that you see a big difference. And also on more pronounced clips where these tails can be worse, you will see a bigger difference. And remember throughout all of this, this is about your weight shift. So your feet might actually still be in contact with the ground. However, your weight has instantly shifted to the foot that is landing on the next step. At least that's what I found. So there were three little tips that I've learned over the years using Rococo motion capture. Go barefoot if you can, if not use shoes, and if not just use socks, it's fine. Remember the difference between weight shifting and between foot contact, and try not to slide your feet on the ground, knowing that Rococo Studio doesn't really like foot sliding. And finally, when you're doing your foot contact edits, make sure to stack those weight transfers from one foot to another, so there's no little tail. You just want the weight to instantly shift to the other leg. Hopefully that was helpful. Put any questions you have down in the comments below especially for edge cases or things that have particularly vexed you. We want to know about those and stay tuned for the next video. See you everyone.